Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your Real Housewives of Potomac, Season 2, Episode 7. Let's jump on into it, shall we? So the drama starts off with Giselle and Robin in the damn car talking about Ashley and her being a nosy bitch and can't get her nose out of other people's business besides worrying about her goddamn restaurant. So Robin, basically, long story short, Robin and Giselle decides to go ambush her. Ambush, I say. So they go there, they, and before they did that, they talking about it. Ashley, yes, you was being fucking nosy. Yes, Ashley, you got better things to do. If Robin want to be a dumbass, let Robin be a dumbass. I'm no longer defending her or her pitta ass, whatever she called that she in. Fuck her in there, whatever she in. She a pretty girl. But when you start to be dumb after dumb after dumb bird, I got no sympathy for you. I'm sorry. Bye. I ain't got nothing for you. So as they talking, why in the goddamn hell did Giselle messy edge how does it say? Well, you know, she at the restaurant. Let's go on over there. You need to get her a firm, like, stay out of my business. I guess Robin don't know the definition of firm and talking. She getting all loud and crunk in that girl restaurant. Basically, they got to the restaurant. They talking. You can tell from as soon as Rob Robin walked in the door, she was at a five. Then Ashley made one quick suggestion, and that turned from a five to a damn ten. Giselle didn't try to help the situation at all. She had to input her two cents in, like somebody fucking asked her in the damn damn thing. That made it worse to Giselle say, I mean, Ashley say, get your finger out my face. This my finger in your face. This my finger. Like, Robin, you need to be going to find you a place to stay. A, B, you and that girl restaurant in front of a restaurant full of people being rude and disrespectful. I thought we were supposed to be talking, not about to be the bitch at the whole restaurant. Like, you got your finger all in her face. Man, y'all, y'all know this Robin, not now. I mean, not Robin. Y'all know this not now. Time did Giselle say, okay, that's enough, that's enough. She decided to come in later after it was getting closer and closer, decided to stop. You should have pulled her to the side and stopped their shit, but I don't expect nothing less out of you, Giselle. And then, Robin, you went to talk, not put your finger and be rude in that woman's fucking face like that. I don't feel sorry for Ashley High Elba, but Robin, you could have did a better job than what you did there. You really could. But that girl wanting to say something, she can press charging on you, not alone, just for you doing what you did to her, and also causing a disturbance in her damn restaurant. You trying to go to jail over, over, over that hell for, cause really, she do need to mind her fucking business that I ain't defending her whatsoever, but, but Robin, you were fucking wrong for that, though. No, you could have handled that a little bit more better. You could have made your point by without being ruled in putting your finger in that girl's face. But that's just my opinion, y'all. Let me know what y'all feel about that. Did Robin take it too far? Was it a justified finger pointing and getting loud in her restaurant, or was it not? Y'all let me know how y'all feel. So we get the Monique, huh, huh? Every time I say that man name, I forget it. But then I fucking forgot it again. Anyways, Monique and her, her husband, they went fishing, they talking. You know, I like um, Monique for the most part. She she cool. She'll fit in perfectly. She just need to punch Giselle in the fucking face. But I think she'll fit in fine. And she'll ease her way into their heart. Because everybody else like her. Giselle just a fucking issue that you just need to ignore and scratch out your life. And you'll be better off, Giselle. I mean... Monique, you fine. You fine. You welcome to Patal. You welcome. We love you. Well, most people love you. We love you. Fuck Giselle. Um, so Giselle and Karen meet up. Well, Karen there, Giselle come. Karen doing some charity work, planting flowers. Giselle come. They talk. They planting flowers. She said she was gonna speak about this love, uh, her being right as a young girl, her being right. But I forgot how old she said she was. But she talked about that somehow Monique came up in the situation. 
Then here comes here come Giselle on 10, all ready to pounce and ready to jump on it like it ain't nobody bidding them. And she say, oh, yeah, just uh, Monique called you a trick. She called me a who? Was I there? No, you wasn't there. Oh, okay, so she waited till I left the room, then she called me a trick. You is a trick. You a trick hoe. You need to leave that girl alone for that girl to jump on your ass. I I ain't gonna up there sit there and scream and holler at the TV and she get happen to snatch your ass up like you basically deserve it. Hell, somebody need to slap the shit out your ass. Maybe you'll go find you a better collection of weed or something. Cause Giselle, you doing too goddamn much. Um trying to think my notes. Okay, yeah. So Ashley meet up with her fan, well her brother and her I mean her brother and her mama. She talks it in, she let them know about the drama going on. Of course her mom on her side and all scared for her and tell her don't let nobody bully in her mama. Nice try, but you wanna know what your little crazy as a dollar been doing. Besides her worrying about her fair restaurant, she have been doing a little bit too much. Going to this relationship, to this relationship, even though I don't have no sympathy for Sharice and um Robin. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Ashley need to see her little busy body ass down. The way she busy body in other people's relationship, maybe if she did that busy body in her restaurant or her or whoever restaurant it is, I'm just gonna say whoever restaurant there between hers and Michael. She'll be doing better off and that restaurant might be successful. She said that was the first four nights she had when Robin and Giselle came in there. Yeah, she said it was the first time her restaurant was ever full. Now, see, busy body, if you were worrying about that restaurant, maybe, just maybe, you can have a full house every night. No, you won't, because you'll be too busy to send other people bidding. And talking about what's good for the goose is good for the gander. They doing it in a love and caring way. However, you, you don't give a fuck who you in front. If you're in front of a crowd, audience, or whatever, you in to blast somebody's shit out. That's not nice, Ashley. So, yeah, I see where they coming from and why Cherise told you she going to kick your little ass and why Robin pointed her finger in your face. You could have put, well, I don't think, do she have a relationship like that with Robin and with um, Robin and Cherise to be talking? I think. I don't remember season one was a blur to me, and I'm still confused. I don't, and I almost think you got a relationship with them like that to be um, talking to them or getting in their business being messy like you are. Because you could like pull them to the side, came over to their house. FaceTime, Skype, or something. Do this in private, not in public way. Anybody can get close to us, can hear this conversation. Like you was being shady, you was being messy. That ain't enough for no goose, and that ain't good for no gander. You were being messy. You got called out on it. You ain't got threatened three, two times already. Well, I threatened to get your ass kicked and one had a finger in your damn face. What else do you want, um, um, Ashley? Keep it up now. You probably going to get what you asking for. Just like Giselle going to get what she asking for sooner or later. Okay, then we the Karen at Van. Um, Katie showed up. Karen showed up. Giselle and Cherie showed up later on. Um, Ashley was playing cool and nice. She talked to everybody, hugged everybody. She gets to Karen. I'm not Karen. She gets to Sharice and Giselle. She said, well, maybe I need to talk to them and see what's going on. Not just... Robin got in there somewhere. I don't remember. Jesus. My mind a million miles a second right now. And I'm trying to... Keep... Anyways, though, she tried to talk to Robin and... What the Sharice? No, Sharice and Giselle. She tried to talk to them. She did, she spoke to them. She said something that they, they got along for the most part and said each other nice. Ashley seen that situation was going awkward. She walked away. They moved on. Giselle and her backhand compliments or like to say shit behind people's backs. Then Monique, I mean, Ashley met up with um, Monique. They decided to talk. They decide they ran into Robin and no, they ran into Sharice and Giselle. So they decided to go together to talk to them. Yeah, that didn't go two ways. Um, Sharice wasn't interested in what Ashley was serving. 
She basically said she basically was quiet the whole time. Giselle was Cherie's mouthpiece. She don't want to talk tonight. Maybe another time. She she don't want to talk to you. She not talking. She ain't give you nothing. Call her or something. Then Monique tried to talk that way. Or tried to. All she did was she tried to talk to Giselle. Giselle wasn't, Giselle wasn't having it. Um, the conversation went left to Giselle because she asked for her phone number. And she, she gave me your phone number. Who who else had to give me her phone number? You said this. You told her to give my phone number. Monique said, I got a brain for myself. I just asked for your phone number. That conversation went left. It didn't go nowhere. Of course, Giselle with her mess ass. What did she leave in? Charisse was um there. They walking. Charisse said, "You know that wasn't right." She trying. She shoved her phone in my face. Bitch, how the hell she shoved the damn phone in your face? And she was way over there, and you was way over here. Nah, unless she inspect the gadget or SpongeBob with long arms, and or anybody that can scratch their damn arms on. Bitch, when did she put that phone in your fucking face? And bitch, when did that phone slam in your face? Way over there. All that girl was said was, "Can I have your number for we can talk?" That's all she did. Just like I'm here, my webcam I'm there. Uh, now how can I slam the phone in your face way from over here? All she did was say, can I have your phone number? You said, she slammed her phone number in my face. Charisse said, she was trying. She said, she wasn't trying hard enough. I was just scratched about her green contacts. So, Giselle, you're going to be a bitch this whole season with, with uh, Connor Monique. You're not going to much try to play nice or try to see can you get over your damn self and you can be friends with her or... You just gonna be an old stuck up bitch, or you think you're too good for somebody to answer your phone number, and they don't play that up here for Tommy, bitch. I didn't told you about trying to act like something you is, just that something you not. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but people that normally answer your phone number, do they or do they not hear you their phone, or they'll give you their phone number? Well, I'm the type of person, when somebody asks for my phone number and I trust them, I know them, I will handle my phone and let them put it in there. I let them add the content or text me or whatever. That's the way I do it. Now, Giselle, I don't know if you were born of an oak tree, pine tree, pineapple tree, coconut tree, up your mama ass, up a pole, or wherever the fuck you were born at. Well, that's how people do it. Of course, you wouldn't know nothing about that, you little old raccoon, now would you? Because you wouldn't know shit about being nice and polite. God, if you knew anything about it, you'll be doing that, you'll be doing that now. Besides being a snuck up bitch to the new girl, just because you got to, you got to, you got to do this, this, um, because you got to be a stuck up bitch to every new girl that come on this fucking show. You do this shit every damn time. Sooner or later, you going to get what's coming to you, Giselle. Keep on fucking with Monique. Monique trying to be patient with your ass. However, she ain't got too much damn patience to be dealing with your ass. And after that, I'll be done with you. Bitch, you ain't got to talk to me. Bitch, you ain't got to say nothing to me. Fuck you. You can say fuck me back. I wouldn't give a damn. But as of the night, Monique, you need to be done with Giselle because Giselle don't want to play. She in this initiation shit. And she wouldn't have basically want you to beg for her to be your friend or you to talk to her or whatever. And if I know you like I think I know you from just seeing you these couple episodes, you ain't going to give her the satisfaction. Don't give her the damn satisfaction because she ain't worth it. I ain't stunned Giselle and um, not the I ain't done Sharice and her damn Mary still talking about it season two. And I damn sure ain't done Robin and her relationship, whatever the fuck she called in there. And he snuck that dog with her out in there. So I'm talking about, I need to get away. I need to find something better. What well, he said, I need to get away. I need to find something better or some fucking shit he said. Being disrespectful to you and y'all house. You have fun with that, um, Giselle. I mean, Rob, and you have fun with all of them. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode, and that's all I want to say. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.